the global landscape of rare earth elements, dominance, challenges and opportunities. Did you know that China remains the dominant force, producing the majority of the world's rare earth oxides, primarily through its large-scale mines and refining facilities? China's near monopoly on rare earth elements continues to shape global technology, boasting 44 million metric tons of known rare earth oxide reserves China supplies the bulk of these critical resources essential for electric vehicles, smartphones, wind turbines and advanced military systems. Its dominance is anchored not only by sheer volume, but also by extensive refining and processing capabilities, making it indispensable to high-tech industries worldwide. While the United States has a long history of rare earth mining, its reserves of about 1.8 million tons underscore the need to explore additional sources and invest in refining technology. Greenland at 1.5 million tons has attracted considerable attention due to its strategic position and potential impact on supply diversification. Greenland's deposits include not only rare earths like neodymium and praseodymium, vital for permanent magnets, but also lithium and zirconium, crucial to battery production and green energy transitions. Despite its potential, large-scale mining in Greenland faces challenges such as environmental regulations, local community concerns, and political debates over radioactive byproducts commonly found alongside rare earth elements. For the United States, which once led the world in rare earth elements production, Greenland's growing relevance is a current topic of discussions. Brazil, Russia and Canada also play pivotal roles in the evolving rare earth landscape. Canada possesses up to a million metric tons and is a key player in North America. Overall, China's dominance persists, but Greenland's emerging significance signals a possible rebalancing that may shape the rare earth market for years to come. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Mainstream Canadian.